Ken in Santa Barbara, thanks so much for waiting. What do you got? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Hey. Hey. Um, I just wanted to, uh, as far as your, your demonstration, I really, like, disagree with every, just about everything. With everything why in this disagree. dice demonstration? Just with the whole meaning of it. You said that it's, you know, because we can't explain it or whatever the case may be. And I'll, I'll, I'll say it like this. Can you explain to me why is 2 plus 2 equal 4? Because we define that, that two items are two items and that when you have this many items, we call that 4, and that happens to be 2 and 2. So is that Well, I mean, where's it? the... No, 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 no. The point is, is like, I mean, can you measure numbers? Can you, can you explain where they came from? A number, is, a number is a symbol for actual amount of items, yes. I have two jars here. Uh-huh. Here they well, are. Here's and if we two. were in Mexico, we'd I can have demonstrate two to you. Yeah. Well, okay, what about the P and P is uh, like these logical absolutes? What, what does any I mean, of that have to do with the model where you Right, why is the model it? flawed? What's the flaw in the model? No, no, no. no. I, I meant the as far as the philosophy of it, not the actual so What's wrong with the philosophy of that's demonstrated by the model? Because you're saying you're cuz you're talking about how like we can't you know, I'm talking about exist, existent items. Existent items is what this model demonstrates. Now, I'm not talking about symbols or mental concepts. I'm talking about an existent item. But yeah, but once you, wasn't your point was to show that, you know, that's God or something like that, that does help Right. What I'm saying is that if you're trying to say that God is a mental concept like the number two, I'm fine with that. I believe, in fact, that God does exist as a mental concept. I don't believe he exists in the same way that these dice exist. And I think that if somebody's going to tell me that God exists in, in objective reality outside their head, then they need to be able to demonstrate that or else they're castrating the word exist. Yeah, but that's the thing. I mean, do you believe in the existence of numbers and... Numbers are mental concepts proof? that align with quantities that can be demonstrated. But these logical absolutes, do you believe that they even exist? They are demonstrable, yes. The logical absolutes don't exist as entities. They are simply... Truths, but they're also sure. demonstrable truths. Just like I mean, this jar is a jar. It, it's not a dog. Yeah, it is a jar, uh, and it is one jar. So both the quantity and the essence of what what the item is. Um, yeah, are and it's true, it's not not a jar. Whether whether or not yeah, anybody's but, around to notice it or not. Yeah, but these logical absolutes are exist outside of our mind, or you know, we can think of them and all this stuff. They don't exist as a thing. That's what yeah, I'm, they're, I'm they're saying. Yeah, they're not part. They're not. They're not um, part of object, objective reality like an existent dice. If you're saying, you, if you're saying that that you know you have something that exists and it doesn't manifest, and you're trying to tell me that it is an item like other items exist, then I simply can't accept that. If you have nothing I can measure, I don't know what you're saying existence means. What does existence mean to you? Well, the same thing with uh, like I said, the logical absolute. They still exist, but we cannot. You know, we can't measure them or anything like that. It's still there. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. They are not objective items. What I'm saying is, what do you, how do you define existence? How do I define God? How do you define existence? Existence? Yeah, how do you tell what exists from what doesn't exist? Can you do that? Well... Can you? Are you able uh, to tell if something exists or if it doesn't? Or do you walk around in life thinking that you don't know what is and isn't real? Well, as far as logic goes, I, I just understand. It's like, like, just like 2 plus 2 equal 4. I understand that that exists, but I can't see it. I can't, like, you know, make a scientific experiment. Can you tell if there is a chair in a room? Yeah, the physical sense. We're talking about the abstract. No, I'm not. I'm no, talking about not. God. People say God exists as an objective being, a a existent thing, not a no, mental... No, that's not true. That's not true. It is true. I've talked to people who said it. They call really? all the time. Yes. Uh, well, okay, maybe... Okay. I, so what is God to you? Well, he's not physical. He's an absolute disembodied mind. What is a disembodied he's mind? God. What is a disembodied well, mind? How do you well, measure okay. a disembodied mind? <laughs> Well, we can't measure our own mind. Yes, we, so. it's, it happens. Your mind is a, is a function of your brain. 
Exactly. So without so a brain, how big, do you measure? Big the brain, and that's what he is. He's the mind. Without it's a brain, but a brain, a mind is a product of a brain. So where is the brain that's producing this mind? Well, it doesn't have to, it's, it's the first cause. Have you ever it's, seen a mind without a brain? Well, no. Okay, then why are you saying that there is such a thing? Because there has to be a logically a first cause. And when you go back to the very beginning... Why does there have to be a first cause? Because... The same reason why two plus two equals four. There's half. It's just the way it is. There has to be logically a first cause. I don't understand what you're saying and why. Well, okay, you guys understand logic, right? You accept the logical absolutes. You accept that two plus two equals four, and that's just the way it is. The, see, the difference right? here is that I actually know what the logical absolutes are, and two plus two equals four has it's nothing not to do with it. Not one of them. It. I also well, happen to understand the first cause arguments and know that it's not something that is just the way it is. What do you mean? Yes. What, what do you mean by first cause? Well, it's very simple. Um, he is like the logical absolute, but he's not the same. It's, it's, it's used synonymously, but he's not actually the logical absolute. They're a part of his nature, and he's just in his mind. So what the hell does that have to do with first cause? Now you're talking about something different. Now you're talking about God. No, and I'm describing him. I'm just describing him. You can't Start even measure him. him. How do you describe him? How do you him? know? How can you describe something <laughs> we without talked about telling that. us how you know what it's there? If it has no attributes, how do you know what it is? The same reason I know logical absolutes exist. God is the first cause, guys. But you can demonstrate God. a logical absolute. This jar is not a dog. You're just using buzzwords <laughs> right now. You've used the buzzword first cause, and when asked what it is, you say God is logical absolutes are part of his nature. You're just tossing around buzzwords that make no sense. You haven't formed Please. anything that represents any kind of argument. It's an assertion with some buzzwords followed by a description, and then when questioned as to how you know about it, you just go back to the same old stuff. Pick okay, okay, any, okay. Pick any one about. thing, define what the hell it is you're talking about, and maybe we can talk about it. Okay, what I'm talking about, okay, okay, we'll just, oh, great. I'll just do it real fast. You go back to the very beginning, the singularity, it presupposes a creator. And how do we know that? No, it doesn't. <laughs> yes, it does. Well, let me tell you why. Okay, no, it doesn't. You want to keep doing that for the next five minutes? You're saying that the singularity presupposes a creator. And what we're saying is... We don't know enough about the singularity to make any kind of statement even remotely like that. Oh, that's like not that. true. We do have enough No, it's not. Them. Can I explain you the evidence then? Yes, please. The space -time and you theorem can get a fucking general... Nobel Prize for it. <laughs> that's right. The space-time theorem general relatively specifically says that all time, matter, and space have not the Big Bang. And before it was nothing. So obviously that's... Does it say there was something. nothing before it? It does not say there was nothing before that. There was no time. There's no time, matter, or space. Oh, that's different than it. nothing. I never said absolutely nothing. I never well, said so there's, there's, so there's a difference between nothing and absolutely there's nothing. nothing. And, see, this is a jar full of nothing. <laughs> this, this is a jar full of, of absolutely nothing, <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> There are shadows around